Dzień dobry, szanowna państwa. Uh, hello, friends. I, I really glad to see you here, and I hope the presentation will be useful because you know this word now. We will speak uh, about ways to increase sales and uh, common errors that prevents us to do this. And to my opinion, it's uh, two sides of the same coin, actually five Zlotych coin, and because we are in the Poland. So, and uh, if you have any question, feel free to interrupt me and ask them, because I love questions. It allows me to drink some water, so do not hesitate. And before we start, I'd like to tell, uh, we, I'll share not just our ex uh, experience, but we have quite a lot of customers all over the world, and they share feedback with us, so, and I share it with you. So let's take a, a look at the common sales flow, and uh, we'll discuss latest trends, and see how can we use them to improve the situation to have positive changes. And uh, we'll start with the search engine optimization because most of new customers get to our site uh, from Google unless we have filtered. And Google have introduced two major changes recently. First of all, as you probably know, it hides the keywords, so they are not longer provided. And the second, uh, there is a new search algorithm, Hummingbird that set new quality standards for the content of our site. And now is my question. So if Google do not provide keywords, how can we analyze our se uh, search engine optimization efforts? Where can we get them? Do you have any ideas? Okay. Okay, if you have no ideas, I can uh, show you some, some ways. We, have, we still have historical data, so for some time we have enough keywords to analyze. We still can use uh, AdWords to get uh, approximation from pay, pay per, per, per click and uh, organic search, and we can analyze uh, keywords in uh, webmaster tools and so on, so on. So it's not so bad. So we can still write a uh, description uh, and use the right keywords, uh, but we can, with magenta and description, we can do a common error, error of content duplication and getting penalty from the search engine with new search engine algorithm. Uh, with magenta, it's really easy because there, uh, there are a lot of function that uh, helps us to, to create duplicate content. It's, uh, and it's not a joke. Uh, even home page is accessible for several URLs, so unless you create some redirects, you have duplicate content for the home page. And uh, product page and reviews are two separate pages that are very similar. So maybe you know, uh, almost all modern themes have matched uh, the review and product page into one single page. Layered navigation, already mentioned to the, today, is a great feature. However, it can create a lot of duplicate pages with the same title, the same similar content, but different URLs. So we can address this issue either removing the navigation or uh, get benefit from it, and, uh, but uh, to get benefit, we need to add text, description, and probably uh, create search engine friendly URLs. Uh, for the search, situations are similar, but uh, a good idea is hide it from the, from the whole uh, search engine bots, uh, either setting appropriate robots text or just in the robots.txt file. So our first, uh, first idea is to create unique description that allows us to get better rank in the search engine results and get more visitors at our site. And now we go to the catalog, and the uh, catalog is uh, e-merchandising. We also saw a presentation about merchandising. And my question is, uh, what is important uh, nowadays uh, to show products? 
what, uh, what, what does matter to your opinion? So if you have online store, to what we should put attention, maybe in catalog, Big photo, okay, ni nice idea. Something else? Original description, great. <laughs> Price, price is important, we speak about later. Okay, and actually, uh, nowadays, more and more people browse with mobile phones and what is more important, with tables, and they don't want to read boring text on the mobiles and tablets. They want to see images. They want to be entertained. This is a trend, and we should uh, uh, create really attractive and nice-looking catalog to, uh, for customers to click to the products. And uh, there are at least three main areas in, measure, uh, in any uh, e-commerce shop that we can improve based on this recommendation. It's category page, and uh, for Magenta, uh, I recommend to improve the filters. They have, uh, Magenta already has the layered, nice layered navigation, but you can make it useful, short, and vivid. Like uh, for this store, this is a special example from, for the art store, and uh, you know, like, Stupid navigation for our store is not good. They used images, price slider, drop downs, and um, uh, the client uh, reported positive impact on, on the customer behavior and on the bottom line. Uh, the same for fashion stores. Uh, as you know, colors and prices are f top filters customers use, and m please make sure they are. Uh, Optimize it for your out audience. Uh, product images, it's right, right idea. There are a lot of improvements at the product page, but I, today I'd like to focus on product images, and uh, uh, customer expect them to be high quality with instant zoom and probably color swatches feature uh, for configurable products in Magenta. It's not implemented in the default version, but it's some kind of the standards now, so please consider it. Uh, for search results, it's very simple. Every, everybody expect relevant search, uh, relevant results, and get them fast. So um, there are a few options, but uh, you can try such feature like auto suggest, and uh, you can just show product names like Amazon DOS. Or, or show product, picture, reviews, description like at the screen. Uh, you know, A-B testing is, uh, is your key, key tool. So check what is, what is working for you. And the second idea is to have attractive catalog uh, for modern customers that do not read text. And now we're going to promotions. Uh, we have visitors from the search engine. They look at our products, and now we can convince him to uh, convince them to buy. How can we do? Probably with promotions. There are a lot of other options, but let's stop on promotions. And uh, the latest trends is holidays. Holidays coming soon. Everybody expect great deal, but. We, as a merchant, should get some profit from these deals, not losses. It's time to plan promotions uh, wisely. And a uh, common mistake is uh, providing discounts with no promotional value. Do you understand this point? When you have some, some deal, some special price or offer, please show it instantly. Don't want don't ask customers to look for it. Because if customers go to directly to the product page or, or add a product to the cart and see, wow, it's promotion, hmm, nice, it's may prob probably you get discount with no promotional value. So what, what are the uh, ways to advertise special price in Magenta? Probably in Magenta in other store. What can we do?
Is it difficult question? So <coughs> there are uh, a lot of a lot of widely adapted options, like creating clearance page where customers who is uh, sensitive to discounts can recent uh, regular check. Uh, we can add uh, product labels or ribbons on for the product pictures, and uh, we can show banners. It's uh, the first, probably the most common uh, advertising tool in the internet, and we can uh, confirm confirm customer to buy by showing promotion in the card. And with Magenta, you can for clearance page in Magenta, you can just create a category. There is nothing, nothing, no rocket science here. And uh, for product drivers, we you can use some extension or just upload the special special images. It's an example from the well-known Zappos.com uh, website. Uh, there is uh, also nothing new in banners. In Magenta, there is a static blocks and widgets area for them. But for banners, I'd like to uh, point your attention on version like 2.0, two we already had this uh, approach. So be more content dependent. So if somebody added a Canon camera in the card, show him discount on the camera case or other camera product, while this, ca this case alone have no discount, it's not visible. So there are two goals. First, to try to sell two products and get uh, more profit and convince to buy the second, the, the first origin, original product because of the discount on the additional. And a discount on the additional usually much smaller. Uh, it's about, uh, it's not about uh, um, discounts, about uh, human uh, psychology. So they see 15% discount on case and uh, 15 is big picture, is big figure, and uh, in, in uh, money it can be uh, not not so mm, not so great deal. But customers still think, wow, it's 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 cool, it's cool, 15, 50 discount. And in the product card, uh, I recommend to show to show customers uh, apply already applied discounts, so uh, to convince him to proceed to the checkout. Uh, and uh, our so, so the third idea is uh, make your promotions visible so customers to get, to get some value from making lower margin. Uh, and now we're going to the checkout. We have visitors from the search engine. Uh, they look at our nice product images, added some product to the cart probably because of promotion and uh, are we lucky? Probably not, because they still can abandon the cart. And uh, why? Why customers abandon their carts? Shipping prices, okay. Something else? No PayPal. No, no. Uh, let me say, no enough payment options. <laughs> <laughs> Complicated checkout process, yeah. Sorry? Poor, it means slow or what? Okay, slow. Inconvenient shipment. Too many data required. Okay, probably we listed, we listed all. So, uh, the first is the high shipping, uh, according to the latest research, it's uh, uh, net uh, Shipping cost is a top reason because customer abandons their cart uh, and slow shipping is also, is also important. Uh, customer complain on too complicated checkout process. Well, so you can make the photo. And uh, some of them just not ready to purchase. It's not bad. Uh, just allow them to save the cart for later. Magenta allows it by def default. It saves the cart in the cookies. But the shipping cost is uh, the top reason. So our advice is to have free shipping promotion. Uh, what, is, uh, what is good, according to retired science research, customers uh, are likely twice 
eager to get free shipping promotions and uh, price discounts. Uh, they appreciate pre free shipping options. And now it's like, like a, maybe a standard for online, uh, for online shops to have uh, free shipping options. In Magenta, you can easily uh, set free shipping on the whole card or for selected items with the shopping cart rule. So it's also very easy. But uh, as a merchant, when you uh, offer free shipping, you should be able to do this. Uh, in, I don't know how in Poland, but uh, in uh, USA, for example, uh, if you have enough volume, you can uh, negotiate with the carrier to get lower, sh uh, lower, uh, lower prices. And uh, if you have no enough volume, you can use fulfillment services. Usually they are cheaper. And as the easiest solution, you can always uh, uh, offer the free pickup uh, from store method. There is no so, so there are no method called free pickup, but you can just rename free shipping to pick up from store, and you're done. Uh, so our uh, fourth idea is to offer free shipping to decrease cart abandonment because it's uh, the most important uh, customer complaint. And now we go to uh, we have uh, a visitor that have completed its first order. And now time, time to communicate with this visitor to create not a visitor, but loyal customer. And uh, more and more customers, uh, as you know, um, probably you also among this customer, uh, check the emails from mobile devices or from the Gmail web interface. And it will be a real mistake to ignore these trends. Uh, so let's uh, check some tips for mobile emails that can, uh, and see how they differ from usual dis desktop emails. First of all, uh, for mobiles, we should have shorter subjects because of the smaller screen size. It's not good, but uh, most of the clients, uh, uh, mobile clients and web interface, show also first sentences of the email called pre-header. It's a, a bit new, uh, new trend. I don't know how to, how to call it correctly. Uh, so it will be a mistake to ignore this, because these this, uh, few sentences allow you to show the body of the email, to show the, the message probably discounts, and uh, convince customer to open the email. And uh, when he does it, uh, please make sure the action uh, elements like links or button are big enough to be easily touchable. Uh, so we have mobile-ready emails, probably with this recommendation, or we have a responsive design for mobile uh, HTML. Uh, but Google again introduced a new change recently. It's tablet web interface. And all our carefully prepared emails go to the secondary promotion tab, and customer no longer see them. So my question is how to get to the primary tab again? What is your ideas? Have you faced with this issue, or is it new? Or or maybe you have already have a solution and forgotten about it. Rules. OK, like uh, having unsubscribe link in the bottom or like this, yeah? Change the Did you succeed? succeed uh, have you succeeded in this technique? Oh, okay, okay. Because it's interesting to share all the ideas. Maybe someone else want to share. Yeah.
Mm -hmm. Okay, nice idea. So uh, a few months ago, ago, every online merchant wants to get to the primary tab and experiment with text, removing unsubscribe link, rewrite the text, remove images, uh, change the layout, and uh, there are no success. The, the, only, the only way to get to the robust way to get to the primary tab is to ask customer to, to add you to the, uh, to the list and just drop your email to the pr from the secondary tab to the primary tab so all next emails go to the primary. Uh, how can we convince him to do this? Send useful information, interesting email, and ask them. So uh, our last advice is uh, send uh, interesting emails uh, that are mobile friendly and uh, useful for customers. So uh, that, that are five ways, five steps to increase pro sales of the e-commerce store. The, uh, maybe it's easy to describe them, but maybe not so easy to implement. There are, there are other options, so if you have to discuss them, you're welcome. Mm. Thank you for the attention. <laughs>